Welcome back to your very second episode of this series and today we'll be creating the modern admin controller. So let's go ahead and see how we can do it. So I do invite you always to check the documentation because they write sometimes good things and really salute them for doing the effort on trying to provide the good documentation. So here um, we need firstly to create an, an SRC controller directory. So let me copy this and I'll update it to my need. And here again into um, YouTube, whatever, and in the route, create a new file, new directory. Let's put this to lowercase just to avoid any problem. And here it become, uh, we can call it really whatever you want. Uh, there is no relation with the module name itself. You can really call it Vimeo, uh, daily motion, etc. All right. So here, keep it simple right at YouTube. There we go, YouTube controller, and we are good. Now let's go ahead and define some fancy stuff for this uh, for this controller. So copy this real quick here. Again, we have the namespace because we are coding now for Symfony. So Symfony use namespaces. If you don't know what is namespace is, there is a website called Google. You can type namespaces there in PHP and you'll find a good, good explanation about namespaces. Um, yeah, so we don't really need the doctrine right now. We'll be using that later. Um, yeah, let's keep this bundle. And uh, here we need to change this to YouTube. And also we need to change the namespace. The namespace here in my case would be my YouTube uh, MC. All right, pretty cool. And we don't need this cache for now. And also I put this in a comment here. And let me return a new response here. Response, so it must came from the HTTP Foundation YouTube. There we go. That's okay. With that in place, let me check my to-dos again. So create the controller class. This is done. Now we need to create the action. It's also done. This is basically the action. And next we'll be creating the routing. So we don't know what is a routing. If you don't know what is a routing, it's simply uh, we'll be telling uh, PrestaShop and Symfony what is the route that will execute this method. As simple as that. So to do this in Symfony, again, you can uh, check the documentation on, on symfony.com uh, and pay attention always to, to check that you are uh, on the 3.4 or 3.2, 3.1 version. Don't ever go to the 4 version because this won't work on, uh, on, on PrestaShop actually. So with that, in, with that said, uh, you should know also that uh, we have various way on Symfony to define the, the routing. We have the annotation, this kind of commands, the smart commands actually, uh, because Symfony is able to understand, for example, what at route mean, okay? Uh, we have also YAML, the ugly XML and the PHP. So in my case, I will stick with the YAML and also on the uh, on the documentation that I explain this and details. We have a good example that I'd like to copy right there. But first, sorry, we need to create this uh, config routes.yaml. That will be uh, the configuration for our routing right there. So copy that, paste that, and let me explain this, what these things does mean. So we have your route name. This is basically the name of the route. And it's you can really type whatever you want right here. Just avoid having duplication with other routes. And we can use this later in the twig templates to generate a link to this uh, specific actions. We have also the path. So the path is simply the, what we are going to type on the, on the browser in the URL browser uh, and the method is get you know the classic whether post get etc and we have the default so this part is quite important this is basically the controller and the action that will be executing when we call this route okay so let's go ahead and update this so starting with saying this that will be YouTube and here you can type YouTube uh, you out oh, YouTube, yeah. <laughs> okay, sometimes we really get stupid. YouTuber get, and here it will be my uh, my what my YouTube MC, and we have controller, and this become YouTube. YouTube there we go, and demo action. It's already created. Let me just verify that the name is correct. Pretty cool. Okay, so this is also must be the same. Correct. 
with that in place we are good with the routing so let's go back to our to do check create routing now we need to set up composer so what is composer it's similar to um to uh to npm and package.json in the javascript world it allows us to compile assets and make the uh, and um, actually compile um the modules or the bundles in a way that are kind of get get compiled or get get executed actually by the core of symphony and again google is user friend so you can do composer.php what is it what is and yeah so composer is still dependency management is allowed to declare the library project depending on handle uh, yeah so uh yep we have a good one here saying that composer standard formatting yes we can deal with uh dependencies also it will be okay so google is your friend i won't make this a long episode about composer all right so with that in place let's go ahead and move back to the ide clean this and now uh let me just move one step back it must be my youtube here and excited from there i could run composer and i will dump simply dump come on dump auto load there we go executing that we're running into a problem and i did this ex um in purpose actually because composer does require a composer.json as npm required package.json so this is what we are going to create next and this composer.json oops is <clears throat> all must be created on the route here so here composer the json and it must contain some definition it's very similar to um to who to to uh, package.json right so here i'll go ahead and copy real quick this code just to speed up again the process and explain this so the name is simply the name of your project or your small project that you are working on for example here in our youtube thingy and let's do youtube for example youtube example and here we should not have spaces and we should have like a forward slash separating the world so a controller to handle youtube I'll also load this is the important part here the psr auto load so uh, we are telling for example this namespace is actually representing an alias to src and this is what i'm going to do so here i said that my uh let's copy really quick here just to make sure i do not screw anything so I'll tell Composer that this namespace, my YouTube MC, is basically pointing to the SRC directory. Some other configs and the type, it's prestige module, we don't really care. Let's go back and test if this will work correctly. So again, uh, it's not working because I did type it, or name it Compose. We have a typo right there, it must be Composer. There we go, testing this again okay come on boom green <laughs> nice all right so with that in place let's go ahead and test so set, I mean, setting me setting up i'd like to add this test the url so we can check this out and now before that we test actually do I invite you to clear the cache because uh right now presidential does not know that we have a new controller and we need to give him a push so refreshing and let's test this youtuber so this is how we can test admin controllers so we can do demo demo admin os modules and we here we type youtuber so typing that yes you'll be welcomed with this because we don't have that ugly token on the url and we have hello youtube and let me just rechange that message hello youtubers come on refreshing and we have that message so that was your second episode hopefully you'll like it and see you in the next one